Hi everybody, uh, my name is Patrick Mitchell and this is my 13th Kickstarter campaign. What you're looking at is a really neat voice changer set. And I'll be uh, putting rewards up for fully uh, assembled and tested modules and do-it-yourself kits. And I'll have an assembly video that shows you step-by-step -step how to build it from scratch. These are the accessories, stereo to stereo connector, external microphone is an option, a 2 watt speaker, and an AC adapter. You can plug this into your computer. You can take audio from your computer and feed it through through this module into your speakers. You can do a heck of a lot. Let's go through some demonstrations. Plug the audio output directly into your computer speakers. Use the onboard microphone or external microphone connector. Use the battery terminal for a battery connector or plug in 9 volts DC. Choose from several voice changing options using the two pin jumper. A full video manual will be available, but let's change to a robot voice. Stick around, we've got a lot of cool stuff ahead. How about changing frequency on the fly? What if I took the computer audio output from my computer that was initially plugged into my computer speakers, plug it into the audio input, and select the external audio input as opposed to the microphone, and feed the output of the unit into my computer speakers? What can we do then? We can do this. Yeah, Mr. White. Yeah, science. Or this. Or this. Find a free text-to-speech converter on the internet and type in all sorts of fun things to make prank phone calls to your friends. For this one, I've taken uh, Anthony Hopkins, Silence of the Lambs, I ate his liver with a side of fava beans and a nice key ante. Obviously, it's not going to sound exactly like that, but let's try it. I ate his liver with a side of fava beans and a nice key ante. <laughs> Choose between robot voice, normal voice, where the audio input matches the audio output, but you can uh, amplify slightly. Cell mode allows for you to change the pitch between really high and really low and anywhere in between by adjusting the FRQ variable resistor right here. This is your input volume uh, adjustment, your output volume adjustment. Uh, S1 and S2, you can uh, match, you, you can jump those in different configurations, giving you uh, 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 four set different frequencies, really low, semi-low, semi-high, and really high. But again, in normal and cell mode, you can just adjust that to whatever pitch you like using this variable resistor. Uh, very, very easy to use. Full manual coming, production ready. Uh, let's try it with the, uh, with the speaker as opposed to using a set of computer speakers or your Bose player. I've got my speaker connected, selected via the jumper here. I can select between the audio and the audio output or a speaker and I've got my uh, external microphone connected. So the speaker obviously isn't nearly as loud as the uh, as a set of computer speakers or a boombox or your uh, Bose player, but it's, uh, it's definitely uh, a neat extra option to have. So it's plugged in. Let's have a, let's have a gander. Hello, Patrick here. Can you hear me? I hope you can. You might be able to hear my normal voice over the transposed voice, but you get the picture. 
So thanks for watching. I appreciate you having a gander at my Kickstarter campaign. If you're watching this on YouTube, the Kickstarter is linked below. And in the Kickstarter, I'll have a, uh, a manual on how to use everything. Because this is just a uh, quick demo video trying to show off a Kickstarter campaign. Hopefully I can, uh, hopefully I'll see a pledge from you. If not, regardless, thank you for taking the time to watch, especially up until this point in the video. Thanks again and have a great day.